Hello everybody, welcome back to Jeff Computer Servers on YouTube. I'm gonna be showing you guys today on how to set up remote access for your media server. In this case, we're gonna be using Plex for this example. So let's go ahead and get started. The way that we're gonna go ahead and start this process is we're gonna set it up not by opening a port directly from your router. We're gonna be using a different program. We're gonna be using Tailscale. It is a VPN mesh program that allows you to bypass the option to open ports. Why? Some users actually don't have the option to open ports on their router, and this is due to their ISP. Now, why is that? Well, some ISP will provide you with CGNet. In this case, carrier grade net. If you have this on your internet service, then you're never going to be able to open the ports. So you can remotely access your media server from anywhere. So the way to bypass this is by using TailScale. This is a very easy process of application. You put this up, you set it up, you log in, and that's it. You're able to access your server from anywhere you want. So TailScale is actually free. So this is a website. For personal use, there's no cons. 100% free, and you can set up over a hundred devices. That's actually really good for someone that says need a simple server or if you want to connect other stuff, that actually works as well. So it's available for all the operating systems and even Raspberry Pi if you're going to be using that for a server. So let's just go ahead and get, get this started. I already have Flex Media Server installed on my computer. So you can see it right here. So we're gonna actually access it through the static IP that I have set up. In my case, the static IP for this computer is 192.168.0.252. Or you can just activate it by just open your flex and it's gonna pop up local holes. But you can also access it through the IP. See it right there. Three, two, four, zero, zero. You gotta put the port number, or it's not gonna pop up. Slash warp. Here's the server. I have an example as you with this one movie. It's case alien. You can run it. It's already in there. Just play it right now if you want to. But for this example, there's one thing that's gonna happen. Once you go to your account setting, you're gonna see. To the remote access, it's not open, not available. Forget about that. It's always gonna be like that. So to bypass this, we're just gonna go ahead and go to sales here now. Close this out. I have it right here open, but it's not login. I click on right click. And we're gonna log in. It's gonna pop up this website. Basically, this is the way to connect it to your telnet. So use the, the email that you want to set up for this, sign in, click the account, in this case, this account. Now it's going to pop up that it's going to say that the device is connected. You see, you're about to connect the device plus media server to this account, the telnet. So, that hostname is actually my computer hostname. You type it here, hostname, Lex Media Server. We're gonna click on connect. And that's it, guys. So now, that's it. I don't know why it says Jellyfin. I'm guessing that was the previous update. So let's just wait for this to load up. And there you go. See, Lex Media Server. See, right now I have this connected. And I also have here my phone and virtual machine from another area that I have already set up. So in this case right now, what do you need to do next to access the server from outside your network? So in this case, we're already connected. As you can see, the dots are turned on white. So that means we're already connected. So all that we need to do now to access the server, same thing that we did here, but we're gonna put the IP address of the tail scale that provided us. So in this case, we just copy this. 
Now, if you put it just like this, nothing's gonna happen. This is gonna pop up an error. Give it a second, he's just gonna see an error. See, on Ableton, kind of, nothing's gonna happen, obviously. So what we need to do is just put that back, put the port number of the server, we're using the default, we haven't changed any. So the port number is 32400. 32400. Click enter, and there you have it. Flex server. The application is at 172.4.61. Sign in with the account that you already set up with your Flex. And there it is. This is the IP that was here. Now we can just go ahead and click the blue and we can access it. Resume, oh yeah, let's resume. And there we have it playing. Now, I'm gonna show you this process on the phone as well. So you can see, uh, cause I'm doing this still connected to the same network. So we're gonna go and do a pause and we're gonna go on the phone. Okay, hey everybody, we're back here on my phone, and we have already here set up uh, Tailscale and Flex here on the phone app. I already logged in with Tailscale, so from here, as you can see, I'm in the 5G, I'm not in the phone network right now, so let's just open this up, Tailscale, and I just connected it, so all you need to do is just connect here. As you can see, I'm already connected to the VPN right now. So you can see there's my phone, the Google Pixel, and the Flex Media server. So in theory, once this is connected, all you need to do is just open the Flex app. And automatically it should already pick pick up the server already. Let's just give you that a few seconds. Yes. Click on movies. Is there nothing here? Library? It's not available, that's okay, it's just for your try. And there's the movie. Just from the movie. Click resume. And now. And there's the movie playing. I'll pause that. So for whatever reason, it doesn't pop up. There's something that I do additionally is I would go to here on the three lines, go to settings and go here, click on advanced, and here manual connections. You can add your your IPs from the home if for whatever reason it doesn't pick it up better. So in your case, you have to enable this. Put the IP address that was from the scale, and you can also put the second connection. In this case, you can put the local network. So in my case, it would be 192.168.0252. And in the second one, you can see us put the tail scale IP address. So just copy that there and just put it there. That's optional if for whatever reason it doesn't pick up. But in this case, I didn't have to do it, so that's no issue at all. The fans here, you turn that off. So for whatever reason, that's actually it, guys. So basically, now you have access to your media super from anywhere that you want to be able to do it. And as always, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Follow us. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you next time. If you still have any issues, please do not hesitate and leave a comment reply to you as soon as possible. Again guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.